my friends I learned something very important when I was a young boy see I used to wake up as a kid in Africa um, and uh, I used to wake up early in the morning to go and run with some of my friends you know like three sometimes four in the morning to go and run and you know get get some physical activity going and when we used to go out at this time we used to find people praying see there was a whole bunch of fields that uh, strung together like 14 or however many all together many of them you know and uh, people used to wake up at that time and pray so when I used to wake up I used to wake up and hear people praying voices and it used to inspire me that these people they're waking up at this time to pray and everybody's sleeping and these are just all manner of people who are gathering together to pray you see at like 3 and 4 in the morning and it lasts all the way to 5 and 6 sometimes it will start earlier like 2 you see so my friends these things I maintain them some of them you see I maintain this kind I used to pray in fields in America when I came to this country you know and people <laughs> it was a very strange thing to people that uh, I used to pray in fields under the stars and in late hours you know I remember being in a place in a, when I stayed in a different state you know and uh, I was next to a church a very big uh, church <coughs> and they had a field and I used to go there um, and I used to pray you know like 12 1 in the night and I would pray for a while and I would talk to the Lord under the stars and the only people who saw me out there were like bums on the street and you know other kinds of people you know no 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 other really Christians <sighs> or those people that said they follow Jesus you see so this is what it is my friends when you go and be with the Lord it's a special time it's a sacred time it's an intimate time you see <clears throat> when you spend time with Jesus it's a time to open your heart to him and cry out to him listen to him wait on him be still you know who is God you see you have to go away <clears throat> Jesus didn't go into start praying he went out into the mountain he went into this place why because he knew his the flesh how people will start bothering him with other things or how you know you're going to tempt yourself <coughs> he went out into these kind of places so this is something that I also did and do you see and um, you make a habit of it you know you go there to special time to say I'm going to be with the Lord you know I'm going to spend time in, with, in his presence you know it is when you spend time with Jesus my friends that you're filled with his thoughts with his ideas with his strengths with his righteousness with his holiness with many many different inner attributes that will help you in order to be able to do them you see you're like the cup and you become filled then you can it's easier way easier to do because you're filled with all the right things you see but if you don't do this then you start becoming filled with the things of the world you start becoming filled with the thoughts the ideas the desires of the world you see because we were created to be filled to be fo to follow to seek an identity and these things we must seek them from the Lord you see <sighs> but people look down on praying they don't see the importance in praying they can't pray many <coughs> many people can't pray because they're not humble I mean, they're humble with their lips but in their heart they're not humble because they trust more in modern living and technologies and many other kinds of things that distract them you see that have plagued their minds they can't you know they can't focus and they can't do these these things and the truth is that 
there's two ways to do it either you choose to force yourself and humble yourself spend time with him um, or it's going to be stripped from you you see and then you you because you, you have to come from a place in your heart that is true you see it's not just some res reciting you know of memory things it has to come from your heart it's not in sophisticated prayers and it's in brokenness and contriteness and humility meekness in a desire to want Jesus in your heart to know him I want you Lord I need you you see these are the things that please him to make him number one to be broken you see many times my friends when I received <coughs> the most and when I was used the most in prayer was when I was absolutely utterly broken what do I mean by that physically I looked like a total wreck I, tears coming from my eyes I can't even talk I'm groaning mucus coming out of my nose um, just crying out to the Lord for mercy you see when the carnal eye sees this it looks like an absolute wreck like weakness stupidity and foolishness you see but to the eyes of God it's when you become nothing that he becomes everything my friends <sighs> and it's when we receive the most you see you groan you can't even speak you can't utter audible words see because the words are too great to be uttered by the human tongue see but people don't and they never get to these places because they are caught up in other things my friends people are caught up in <coughs> a learned way of doing things they are caught up in readings they are caught up in reciting prayers that other people my friends we've got to come from an honest place in our heart we've got to do what it takes if something tempts you you've got to flee from it you got to get away from it I'm telling you from my own experiences you know I'm not uh, somebody you should follow I'm telling you on how to that we should follow Jesus you see we have to <coughs> run away from all this Jesus went into the mountains he went into the boat into the other place to separate himself physically why because he would have been faced unnecessary temptation to do this and to do that oh they need you here or oh, you need to do this or oh, maybe oh you know so he went away into other places to receive <coughs> from his from the father you see and these are the things that we need to do to please him these are the things he did to please the father you see so we need to do the same things it's no different you know we're not going to be able to watch ourselves into heaven or read our way into heaven or have faith in somebody else to work it out for us it doesn't work like that we all have to work it out together you see and that's what it is we spend time with Jesus anyone that loves Jesus spends time with him he said you're the, we're the bride he's the bridegroom what do the bride and bridegroom do they spend time with one another that's why they get married <clears throat> you see they're intimate with one another they don't just open that anyhow to anybody and say well I did this with no even though that's done in modern society today <clears throat> and nothing is sacred but that's not how it's supposed to be done you see so when we go to pray we go to pray to make Jesus number one you see we get away from every and when you get away from everything physically you start to see that the level of distraction in your mind is way less but if you're sitting in in the spider's web then of course it's gonna eat you up you will be filled with all manner of things and poisons and toxins and thoughts oh I can't concentrate I can't do this I can't do that you see so maybe you need to get away from all that and when you get away from it the power of the amplitude of the voice starts to lower if you leave your, <coughs> your cell phone um, then <laughs> it won't ring it's simple you see 
so this is what <coughs> we need to do my friends we need to go and spend time with Jesus because it is when we do these things that we become filled with the necessary requirements and attributes to overcome the flesh and to make the right choices in life and to do the right things you see and say the right things we receive guidance <coughs> we hear God's voice he speaks to us you see all kinds of all kinds of things happen you see we receive his peace so my friends my advice to you as it is to myself is to spend time in what appears foolish spend time in prayer go and press into the kingdom of God with everything all your heart all your mind and all your soul 